Hi, my name is Ben, licensed physical therapist here at Total Physical Therapy, and today we are going to be talking about the exercise called the lateral step out. As I'm going through our YouTube channel analytics, I'm looking for the most viewed exercises. And one of the top viewed exercises sitting at 2,200 views is an exercise called the lateral step out. So today we're gonna to be going in depth. What is this exercise? How do we do it? What are the benefits of it? And why might I include it in a workout program? What is this exercise? To do this exercise, you are going to be getting down into a uh, athletic ready position or a mini squat position or a slightly hinged position by hinging your hips backwards a little bit and bending your knees. And then what you're going to be doing is you're gonna shift your weight onto one leg while you are keeping your pelvis still, you are going to move one leg out to the side and then you're gonna bring it back in. Then do as many repetitions as you like on that side, then you're gonna weight shift onto the other leg and then you are effectively going to keep your pelvis still again and you're gonna move your leg out to the side. One of the things that we're really looking for with this exercise is your ability to make sure that the pelvis does not tilt. I don't want to get onto one leg and move my leg out to one side and have my pelvis tilt downwards or upwards as I'm moving the leg out to the side. I really wanna keep my belt line as still as possible without any tilting to ensure that I'm engaging and utilizing the muscles in the side of my pelvis, primarily our glute medius and glute minimus, to make sure that I have good stability of my pelvis. Why would I be interested in this? Well, one of the things that I would be interested in this for is because whenever I'm walking or if I'm doing any cutting, I wanna have good control of these muscles to make sure that I don't have any excessive motion going on or wasted movement. Some benefits of this exercise include building up the endurance and stability of those glute medius and glute minimus muscles that we were talking about earlier. By building up the endurance and control of these, I can then take this exercise and transition it into a harder exercise. For example, if I'm noticing that I'm walking and I have a slight, what we call Trendelenburg gait around my hips are either dropping or raising to one side, uh, I can either try cueing you while you're walking to get rid of it, or I can come back down to an exercise like this to work on those, uh, that motor control and that stability, and then go back to an exercise like walking and seeing if we have corrected the behavior that we're looking for. There are multiple ways that I can perform an exercise like this. Uh, I can work on the endurance or instability of this position by staying on one leg as I hinge down on one leg and just move one leg out back and forth and really challenging the endurance of that musculature. Or I can practice the idea of weight shifting from side to side where I'm on one side, I move the leg out to the side, come back. And then I shift my weight onto my other leg and then have to stabilize on that side, move the leg there and back, and then shift the weight back and forth. Depending on what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish would determine how you would perform or why you would want to do the exercise a certain way. The question might arise, well, what if I'm doing this exercise, but I still have that, that little tilting, I'm unable to control this position. Well, again, maybe I need to go back down to an easier exercise to be able to work on this idea of making sure that my hips aren't tilting. Some other regressions of this exercise that you might consider would be a quadruped fire hydrant. Maybe I'm getting on hands and knees and moving my leg out to the side. And the working leg is actually not the leg on the, that's moving, but that's actually the leg that's bearing your weight. Uh, and so we can work on a variety of different other correctives such as clamshells or sh side leg raises or different things like that to be able to get the uh, correct behavior that we want to and then transition it up to an exercise like this and then transition it up to an even harder exercise like a monster walk or maybe cutting or various exercises like that. I hope you guys found this video beneficial and informative. If you guys did, give us a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any ideas of future videos that you want us to cover, maybe covering an exercise in depth, kind of like this one, leave those down in the comment section below as well. I hope you guys have a great day.